here I'm at the WS Burger building at the Vent Haven Museum. I gotta tell you, it was so exciting. The first time I came here to the museum, it was an amazing experience. Uh, the sense of history is is palpable. It's, it's an incredible place to be. If you've never been, you really should get out here and, and see some of these amazing figures. And uh, they asked me to talk about one of the figures that really meant the most to me when I came to the museum. And without a doubt, it was Charlie McCarthy. Now this is a replica. It's a non-working replica, but it doesn't matter. It didn't make any difference to me. When I walked in and I saw him, it was like I had just walked into the presence of my greatest idol. Uh, and one of the reasons why, uh, just seeing these, these figures here, you know, seeing Charlie and Mortimer, uh, meant so much to me is that growing up, when I became a ventriloquist in 1975, I was uh, 10 years old. And one of my first big influences of ventriloquism was, of course, Edgar Bergen, as is anyone from my generation and, uh, and older uh, know about. And so I would get records and, and cassette tapes of Charlie and, and Edgar doing their routines. And people always make, make jokes and they say, oh, can you believe a ventriloquist was popular on the radio? Of course I can, because ventriloquism is not just about not moving your mouth. Ventriloquism is about creating an illusion of a character, creating a real three-dimensional character that has a life outside of the stage. You know, when you're sitting there watching a ventriloquist and you can see and visualize that puppet out there doing things that uh, on its own, without the ventriloquist, you're doing your job properly. And that's what Edgar did so perfectly. When we listened to those radio shows and we heard Charlie, uh, he would do all the different things that we do and turn them into comedy and into comedic uh, uh, situations and that's really what it's about so uh, the sense the profound sense of I'm, I'm in the presence of greatness with Charlie because Charlie was a real character that's why millions and millions and millions of people all over the world fell in love with Charlie and Mortimer they really thought that they were real people they were real characters and that is what our job as ventriloquists are to create real three-dimensional characters that people take home with them we want them to be thinking about what our characters are doing. We knew what Charlie was doing. Charlie was going to school. Charlie was dating Marilyn Monroe. Charlie was, he was doing all these wonderful things. So when you create a character, then your job is to make sure that those people imagine that character doing things outside of standing there on stage or sitting there on stage with you. And that's really what Charlie embodies here. And, and pretty much all of these. The sense of history is incredible. You really need to come out to the Van Haven Museum. Thank you.